Hello and welcome to another video where I show something I've 3D printed and painted up. <clears throat> this video is special because it's actually a model that was designed by my friend Quinian from Quinian's Budget Crafts. I asked him to do something which could fit in with the theme of a challenge entry for the Tabletop uh, Crafters United Discord where I was working in a little bit of a Flintstonesy theme. Um, I didn't want something exactly because obviously copyright and he did a very good job of creating something that's good enough, close enough, you can kind of tell what it is but doesn't get into trouble which is obviously very very important. Uh, so yeah this print was fun, uh, I had a little bit of trouble with it uh, which I mentioned in the video whereby one of the um, one of the prints actually slipped and it was my mistake and there will be a my mistake video on the channel as well which will probably have come out before this one uh, talking about that. So it just caused a little bit of a slippage in the print, but the print still worked very nicely. Um, the reason why I was able to get Quinn to do this is I am a patron of his. So if you're interested and want to have some really cool sculpts done um, and uh, then get, get involved, I'll pop a link in the description below so you can go and join, uh, uh, come and join us. Um, and of course, there'll be a link on the screen to his channel. So that's enough blathering. I really wanted to give a very, very strong shout out to Quinian. Um, but let's get into the meat of the video and uh, show you what I did with this brilliant model. The 3D printer has been working almost non-stop and has printed out everything that Quinn designed for me for the house, which is going to go on this Gaslands build. I had a failed print, which actually ended up causing more problems than I realised, but I'll go into that in another video, but that caused this slippage, so I had to print that part again. <clears throat> This here is the garage, this here is the main building. The main building still needs some curing time, it's still a little bit kind of uncured. So what I'm going to do tonight is just um, clip out all these parts here, uh, glue them together and then get ready for priming and painting. If I can get the whole thing together that'd be brilliant, but I'm very very tight on the deadline now. It is the 26th of February, I think this is probably going to need to sit in the sun for most of the day tomorrow. I might be able to get that glued together tomorrow night and then maybe I'll get some time on Sunday and actually get it finished, but I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, I'm really, really happy. Quinn did a fantastic job sculpting this for me. Really, really cool. And it's going to work really well as a Flintstones house. So I'm going to get these clipped up. I'm not going to film it um, and glue together. And then I'll bring you along to show you how I plan on painting them. I left these in the sun all day yesterday and they are now cured. Can't wait for my curing station to arrive. <laughs> so what I'm now going to do is come along and clean them up. So that's going to involve this because I'm going to be doing some sanding. I'm going to take off all these nubs, sand it all down and then glue it together. Now one thing that I do have to do, which is quite a lot of sanding, this is the roof of the um, garage which I have glued together. Oops, I have glued the base together as you can see. Looks nice, a little bit of filling needs to be done. This is clearly not going to be finished in time for entering into the challenge, but whatever, I'm still going to do it because it's still cool. Um, but you can see that has a bit of sanding needed to, before I can really glue it together. So I'm going to sit and tidy that up. I'm not going to film it because I'm going to have my mask on. Um, and I'll bring you along to show you what it looks like once I've got it all cleaned up and I'm ready to glue. So I've cleaned those up with a knife um, and I've just tried to glue the roof sections together. Uh, and I am going to have to get the sanding paper out, which is going to have to be done later, not now, because it's... Uh, yeah, it's middle of the night, <laughs> I'm up early. However, the house is glued together very, very nicely and I'm very, very pleased with that. So I've got the two buildings glued. <coughs> uh, there's a little bit of filling need to be done on both, which I'll do using Milliput. And what I'm gonna to need to do is just get a sanding paper um, and you can see that there is too much of a gap there really for me to glue. So I just need to take that middle ridge out on both of these, however that's happened, um, and that will then glue nicely. So I'll get that done. Um, so wear a mask when you're, when you're sanding down resin of any sort or actually when you're sanding anything, wear a mask because <clears throat> yeah, it can get in your lungs, it's not very good. Uh, so yeah, so I'll get that sanded and glued together um, and then we'll, uh, we'll look at the filling. Um, I'm really loving these, thanks Quinn for making them, you're, you're a star, they're a really, really cool model. So I've glued these together and uh, this obviously here has quite a bad cap. I had a little bit of a play around before starting filming but I'm going to need to use the Milliput. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix up some Milliput and then put it in here and then sculpt it in. So I'll get that mixed and then I'll bring you back for when I'm doing the sculpting. I'll just get it stuffed in and I'll bring you back for the sculpting. 
So I've put a bead of the milliput down in the gap. <clears throat> what I'm now coming along is working out the so that it's actually going to be smooth and not totally noticeable when it's painted, which is always my biggest challenge with filling gaps, and I'm sure it's always your biggest gut challenge as well. So what I've what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in very very lightly, and then I'm coming along with the edge of my sculpting tool um, and mark, following the gaps that were there in the underlying 3D render. Um, and I've also just got a little bit of, of paper, which I can dip in some water just to clean and to help smooth. Because the actual texture of this is quite a smooth texture, so you don't really want to have things sticking up, and so that will help prevent that. I'm not sure how much of it that you, it was, was covered by noise of paper, so apologies if that was a bit noisy. But yeah, I'm just basically coming along Fill in the gap, then coming with some paper, smoothing it over with the wet paper, and then coming with a bit more if I've got a hole. And in this way, hopefully, I will end up with a gap which is not obvious when it's painted, which is the aim. So I might pop some music on, and now you can watch as I do this. Um, not sure how long it's going to take, not sure how good this footage will be. So you'll know if it was rubbish footage because there won't be any. These have actually done really well. Uh, it was a lot more hassle than I expected it to be to try and smooth it out. But now it's done, I'm actually really, really pleased with how that looks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and prime these um, and then I will bring you along for brief painting tips because I'm really interested in how I'm gonna do it. I've not yet worked it out, so I figured I'll share that. Um, but yeah, we're nearly finished actually. Uh, this is one of the things with 3D printing. It takes so much l quicker once you've got to this stage. I mean, I'd be sitting there for ages carving out those uh, the lovely stone details, um, but that's pretty much done. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go and prime it now um, and I'll bring you along for what colors I end up using um, to actually paint them. So the primer has taken well. And what I'm going to do now is something I don't do very often. I'm going to just use normal house paint to paint these. So normally I would use um, paint for uh, like for kits um, on terrain like this, on printed terrain. But I just want to give it a try. The picture I'm going off has the stone as being white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do several coats like this using this paint, which is just normal house paint. I'm going to see how it looks. I figure that if it does look rubbish, then I can always come back with it being clean it and use different paints, but I want to give it a try. So yeah, I won't film the whole lot. It's going to be pretty much what you see here, me painting a house, leaving it to dry, coming back, painting it again, leaving it to dry, coming back. Yeah, you get the idea. So I will show you what it looks like when it is done. Hopefully this paint will take, I probably will end up needing to varnish this to get the paint to stick which is fine as well so yeah let's see what happens with this a bit of an experiment well, there we are i'm happy with them that uh, wash is not the tidiest in the world but i'm really really pleased with how it looks um, particularly around the front door and on the steps happy with the with the doorway and that's going to look really nice as, as part of the uh, diorama or part of the uh, board for the gaslands so that's really cool so i'm going to wrap that up there that's uh, that's those two uh, buildings finished um, i'm not going to glue the tops on just because it gives a little bit more access and makes it a little bit easier to store um, so i'm just going to leave the, the tops unglued um, but what i am going to do now is put the, all of this stuff including the build for the tcu which i um which I finished as well, um, which this is gonna go with onto a shelf and I'm gonna put that onto, uh, onto the wall outside room 13. So I will show that at the end of this video, what it looks like. Um, so I'll show that next once I've done that and then we'll wrap this build up.
Well, there you are. I hope that you enjoyed that. It was a brief video and it was quite an easy model to put together and paint up and it looks really, really nice now sat with the rest of the scatter terrain that I did for the challenge. So yeah, come and join us on Patreon, as I said in the intro, if you uh, want to. Um, go and uh, jump over to Quinn's channel and you can uh, join there or there will be a link below to, so you can find it. Um, but otherwise, just uh, yeah, come and join us on Tabletop Dungeoneers. Uh, come and join us on Tabletop Crafters United. Discord links are below. Um, and uh, yes, thank you very much for watching this video if you did reach this far. I will wrap up by saying, as I always do, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay well.